Well, this goes out to my brother Larry up in Brainerd, Minnesota, who talked me into this rain gutter grow system a couple of years ago. And I got whew, tomatoes running out of my ears, bowls of them almost every day. Then I seen a little thing online where to freeze tomatoes for later on for canning, you just take the tomato and cut the little core out of the top, pop it in the freezer, and uh, here's a bowl of them we put in there where you just cut the cut the core out of the top. These are like marbles now. And look at the freezer. I mean, it's half full of bags and bags. Now you can put them just in zipper bags, but I have a, a commercial vacuum sealer, so I throw about six or seven in a bag and seal them up. Say they'll last about six or eight months, and then you can can them all at one time or whatever. And I'm getting peppers so fast that I just cut them up into little bag sizes to uh, throw in salads or soups or whatever. And I've just got bags and bags. And here's even the banana peppers that Sheila likes so well frozen up and uh, so we have just picked and picked and picked and gave them to the neighbors and unbelievable how much stuff has came out of this garden right here and I see there's more of them in there I am getting a little bit of yellow leaves we had I'm not really sure what the scoop is we had tons and tons of rain and then it dropped to like uh, dry and 90, it's been 96 degrees the last couple days. So I've been having to water these troughs up a couple times a day to keep them going. And uh, still, as you can see, maters everywhere. We picked a ton of blueberries, oh my goodness gracious. I hate to interrupt this. Man, oh man, these are so good. We just keep eating them and eating them and eating them. They just keep producing. But this is a blueberry tree. And you can see that, or a blueberry bush, I should say, that I planted that was only about 10 inches high. I think I got it at Walmart or something. And I, it just went nuts. But it's also sitting on the rain gutter grow system. But uh, maters, maters. <laughs> Just as you can see, I've got tons and tons, and plus we've ate them in salads. They grow clear out and down onto the floor, and it has went bonkers. Look over here, way, way more tomatoes. I got to wait till Sheila gets home so she can pick some of these. And peppers, we've just got clusters and clusters of peppers that just they come on you so fast it's unbelievable. Blackberries. Now you can see all these crazy branches all came out of. Uh, I put four thornless blackberry bushes because I got tired of picking blackberries in the thorns. And uh, oh, them blueberries are so good. And I got just bell peppers. They, they come so fast that we cut them up, and vacuum seal them, and freeze them. And then I can use them in soup. And cucumbers. Man, we have picked cucumbers. I've got jars and jars and jars of sweet pickles that I've made. But Larry wanted an update on this jungle that is the rain gutter grow system on my floating deck here in Nashville, Tennessee. In fact, I think I'll go plug the hose in over there and let it fill the trough. My trough actually starts in this corner, runs clear back to that corner runs clear over to that corner of the deck and then all the way back to here on the outside and then these individuals I've got four individuals kind of kicked off to one side that I feel separate but uh, it's went crazy I do have a few dead leaves on my cucumbers over here but I, 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 I kind of went overboard I had just a whole bunch of cucumber plants left over so I threw about ten in one little grow bag and as you can see it has consumed about a fourth of my deck here with tons of cucumbers but I think I could, maybe I got too many in there so because I got some as you see tied in through the tomato plants where it was only one or two plants and I think they did a lot better being separated and not quite so crazy but we're still getting 
we're still getting blackberries look at here lordy lordy and these this is from the first year and these things are big as a frickin quarter huge blackberries out of this thornless blackberry plant which is kicking out all kinds of different stuff one thing I was gonna ask my brother about I tried to train this over because it was growing sideways and I broke the uh, blackberry thing I broke it over and I went oh no so I just left it lay there and it kind of dried up and grew back solid and the rest of the plant is growing great on up the way there I'm gonna find out how to get little shoots out of there and and make it so I can get cuttings off of there that's the word I'm looking for so I can make more and look at all the look at all the nanner peppers and stuff Sheila picks these every day and eats them with, with the like some turkey sandwiches and stuff but the the rain gutter grow system is going great this is an update my blackberries are going jungle nuts so I'm gonna go with those and see if I can't just build this whole area with just a few tomato plants and and we really love the blackberries and blueberry mmm that is so sweet and delicious I have to run look at here peppers 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 and these pepper plants are just like a tree the, the stalks are solid and great and I notice this trough here I just watered it I think this morning or yesterday afternoon and it sucked dry already so I gotta plug the hose in so the one benefit you will find as a rain gutter grow system guy that took this project on from my brother Larry Hall in Brainerd Minnesota is we live in Nashville Tennessee and about a month or so in the summer everybody's plants dry right up everybody's plants die off and mine do great and can just stay just look how plush green it is because the plant takes how much water it wants and when it draws it up from the bottom you can never overwater you can never underwater you know people will water their plants till the leaves turn yellow or they'll not plant water them thinking they're giving them too much and then they curl up and die off these stay plush and green and look at this this is to the middle of the I don't know what the date is today 20th of July or something I don't even pay attention anymore but and my garden is just green and plush and it's just because of that rain gutter grow system the plant takes exactly what it wants go to Larry Hall uh, rain gutter grow system in Brainerd Minnesota get the scoop on this and do one and you'll never have to worry about losing your garden in the middle of summer when the heat hits well today the heat index is 98 here in Nashville and plants are just doing great but that's an update and I'm out of here I'm gonna send this to my brother Larry he likes to check on me and my garden from time to time of course the strawberries over here are going fantastic these little blueberries they've been kicking out every year out of those little grow things and then here we are on the floating platform in the middle of the lake next to our houseboat here in Nashville and this is a 40 foot floating platform I keep my minnows over here for fishing and and the water is just right over that corner right there so this entire we're, we're right directly under this garden is 44 feet of water so I, I pump it all full of lake water but the main thing is the rain gutter grow system keeps them just right on the water supply talk to you soon this is an update from Steve Hall in Nashville Tennessee to my brother Larry Hall in Brainerd Minnesota bye bye and PS I just did an update for my brother Larry on this garden grow system and I forgot to tell you how to make your tomatoes taste better than they've ever tasted sneak out of your house in the middle of the night with a salt shaker grab the freshest ripest tomato you can find pick it off the vine run down the street about a block and hide in behind some bushes and lick it give it a couple hits with that salt shaker and eat it they will taste delicious that's how you make them taste even better